Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of a Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Aber, and our scripture for today comes from Psalms 41 to 11 to 12, and it says, By this I know that you were, you are well pleased with me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. I repeat, by this I know you are well pleased with me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me be before your face forever. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part says, by this I know that you are well pleased with me. So, by the doings, um, he understands that God is well pleased with him. Um, the psalmist understands that God is well pleased with him because God has showed him mercy and God has blessed him abundantly. So he understands that God has not given him to given him unto the will of his enemies. God has not uh, has removed him constantly from every trouble which he has um, found himself in. But he said, because my enemies does not triumph over me. So with all this, this evidence that God is in good stand, that he's in good standing with God, because God has not, because his enemies has not triumphed over him. His enemies have not, are not stronger than him. His enemies have not prevailed over him. They have not rejoiced over him. He is standing strong. He is standing tall. God is promoting him from glory to glory. God is promoting him from upliftment to upliftment. Then he said, as for me, you uphold me in my integrity. So God has upheld him in his integrity, in, in his integrity, to, to integrity towards his fellow men. And they accord him that respect. They accord him that honor. They accord him that position where he's, he's looked, up, uh, looked up onto as a man of integrity. The last visit and set me before your face forever. So God has put him in on, on his side. God has showed him mercy. God has showed him rewards, abundance, and God has put him on his side forever and ever because he's a man after God's heart. Because he walks under the auspices of God. Because he obeys God's status. Because he obeys God's precepts and God's commandments. Because he obeys God's instructions. Because he obeys and follows after God diligently with all his heart. Now I want to pray that God is able to expound our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge, that we would be able to walk with it and run with it, that ultimately we would be able to be in a position where God has exalted us and our enemies will look up to us, our enemies Will, that will, will, a position where we'll triumph over our enemies, a position where the, our enemies will not be able to rejoice over us, where we'll be with the face in the face of God forever and ever, and our enemies will have cause to look and be able to come back and to to us and tell and tell us that I want to serve your God, I want to glorify your God, I want to worship your God. All this I ask through. Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless in Jesus name. Amen.